Hey guys, it's Trice here, back with Automation, the car company tycoon game in the most torquiest engine series. We're going to be building this Boxer 6 engine with the most torque as a version 4.2.18. Still continuing with this part of the series of revamping these engines from version 4.1 to the open beta branch of 4.2. We're wrapping up the Boxer engines with the Boxer 6 right here. After that, I'll jump on into the V engines in the future. So now, let's get started with this engine build. So the first thing you gotta do on the top of portion of your screen is you set the year all the way out, max this out to the year of 2020 to maximize everything related to the engine. And after choosing the Boxer 6 engine configuration, you may choose any block material that you may choose from. I'm gonna choose magnesium for the sake of weight and everything. And for the fan weight capacity, you max this out to 120 millimeters each for the born stroke to get the engine size to 8,143 cubic centimeters, around 8 1.1 liters, and we're using some dual overhead cam 5 valves. Again, choose whatever head material that you may choose from. You can choose aluminum silicone for the sake of weight. And for the quality sliders you see right here, you max this out to a plus 15 for everything for the open beta branch of the game. Whether it's for the engine block in general, the bottom end, top end, turbocharger, fuel system, exhaust, everything. For the ballot shaft, you're required to have a harmonic damper built in to reduce the chance of the crankshaft exploding due to high RPM and torque stress. And speaking of the crankshaft, we're going to be using a build steel crankshaft, the strongest one as possible. Same thing for the comrades at a lightweight titanium and the piston set to a regular forged. For the compression, you max out just like all the other builds to a 15.0 to 1 ratio at an extreme level, with the cam profile set a little bit up to a 52, and the springs and lifter set almost to a soft setting and a medium setting right down the middle at a 25, and of course, VVT at all cams. For the turbocharger, we're using a twin turbo setup with a smart boost system, with the inner core size set to zero horsepower, so no inner core whatsoever to increase the amount of performance with this particular engine, which is pretty interesting how this is going to set up. And the aspiration setup details this part of the screen. This should automatically select this for you. It's a variable geometry ball bearing setup with the compressor size set to 106 millimeters. Crank this bad boy up to right here. The turbine just a few clicks up to the size of an 81.9 millimeters. The air compressor trim is a few clicks up just like the turbine, but set it to a 41. And finally, for the maximum boost, you set this to a 34.8 PSI. For the fuel system everything, it's just like the usual, but with a different intake. So we're going to be using a direct injection throttle per cylinder configuration with a standard bid intake running on DevF fuel. With the fuel mixer set to an 11.3, the ignition timing set all the way up just like other builds to a 100 in advanced setting, and you set the RPM limit to a mildly suggestive 6900 RPM that is a very huge but nice number. And finally, for the exhaust everything, so for the headers, we're going to be using some turbocharged racing headers with a dual exhaust with the exhaust diameter set to 203 millimeters, which equals to 8 inches. And lastly, no cats, no mufflers, bring that quality up. And we get the final horsepower rating of 3,172.8 horsepower at 6,700 RPM. And the highlight of the video is the torque at 2,806.3 pounds feet of torque at 4,900 RPM. And compared to my box of four engine where the pistons and con rods were at 100% stress, the engine did run, which was very surprising. The reliability factor, if I recall correctly, was at a 0.2, which according to the game, it was able to run just as fine. But here, we get a reliability factor of a 1.3, so a tad more reliable compared to the box of four. So this part of the video, as I give you here this engine a little bit, I'll cycle through all the main important graphs that here, starting with the power and torque, then the torque and boost, torque and efficiency, and power and efficiency. After showing you all those main important graphs, I'll show the engine as is, do some fake gear shifts for a little while, and then went off the video right then and there. So bring back the graph visibility and give you here the engine right now.
Not too bad of a power band that we got here. So turbocharger begins to kick in around like 1800 or 1700 RPM, then goes up to 2800 RPM, levels out increase a little bit, and dips down around 5000 RPM. So great in torque, great power band, but it's not going to last long in beam and drive, unfortunately. So that'll do it with automation the car company tycoon gave with this torque heavy Boxer 6 engine. Compared to the Boxer 4 build, the reliability factor was nearly at a zero. At least with this engine, it's slightly more reliable and produces a lot more torque than the other one. And for those who are interested in this type of content, please be sure to like and subscribe so you won't miss out on any videos like this in the future, including my automation to BeamNG Drive videos too. So this is Tries Racing Up, and signing out.